And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Abyss Control. We are building a competitive deck around the Howling Abyss. That was our challenge here with our donation deck. And we're going to be playing it in Freljord Shadow Isles Control, specifically Control deck, uh, to fight all of the burn decks running around. There's tons of discard burn and pirate burn and all sorts of decks like that. And so that's what we kind of have here. We have some good early blockers and lots of awesome removal spells. Unspeakable, Horror, Vile Feast, um, Grasp the Undying, Withering Whale, Vengeance, even a Crumble, Avalanche, of course. So these decks that are going wide, your House Spider decks, your Petty Officer decks, um, all that kind of stuff. We got Avalanches and Withering Whales in here uh, combining with all those. But basically our top end, you know, like we're gonna have Trundle. Trundle is just a, a great card to have. Um, in the mid game, but our top end is going to be based around the Howling Abyss, and that's how we're going to be winning games. We'll be dropping down the seven mana landmark and then creating uh, level two champions turn after turn after turn. And that's going to be where, you know, it doesn't look like we're playing very many units because, like, our only units are Trundle, Weirding Stones, if you count Weirding Stones, um, Averroes and Sentry, and Warden Spray. Like, that's it. <laughs> so it doesn't look like we have very many ways to like win the game but that's what howling abyss is going to do because it's like while we get um random champions every single turn from the howling abyss we'll be drawing awesome spells to um go along with those champions you know we'll have so we won't just have a hand of just a bunch of units and then a bunch of champions and then you know not be able to interact with the opponent we'll have our spells have our champions and we'll have a good mix so that's the goal here i think this should be pretty good against aggro um, like I was saying, I think that we're going to struggle against maybe other Shadow Isles control decks that are playing Atrocity and being able to finish us off with Atrocity. So like your your War Mothers and your Deep decks, that's what I think we're going to struggle a little bit more against. But, you know, you can't. it's hard to be perfect against everything. But let's see how it goes. We're going to go play our five games over in Ranked. And let's see how our new Howling Abyss deck does. This should be pretty fun. We should be able to get some cool champions with this. Okay, well, let's see if let's see if I built this well enough to beat Discard Burn. That was the plan. Discard Burn's probably the most popular deck. And this hand looks like exactly what we want. Whoa, we got a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Um, uh, Bike, thank you very much. All right, let's play our Warden's Prey. I'm sorry, opponent. We got a sub. I was distracted. The thing I kind of like waiting on the Warden's Prey for is... Get out of here. Maybe I should wait and be able to play that with Unspeakable Horror together, like next turn, and have the Nightfall. But probably playing, you know, Withering Whale and Avalanche turn three. So I was kind of waiting on um, Unspeakable Horror anyway. I wanna go home. A shark. We don't need a shark. So let's see. If I play Weirding Stones right now, next turn we'll have seven mana so i'll have like withering whale plus unspeakable horror or of course avalanche plus unspeak avalanche plus unspeakable horror if they play something first before attacking if they don't play anything before attacking i'll just pass we just go the unspeakable horror right then rules are made to be broken like buildings or people you should try blinking sometime definitely considering vengeance Watch and learn. I think I have to go after Jinx. I mean, I feel like Jinx is the better card. Time for the money. Makers. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we go Draven. All right, we'll go Jinx. All right, everybody in chat says Jinx. <laughs> Good. Right, our Shark Chariot. 
not going to do very much. Our Pale Cascade, probably not going to do that much either. I'm going to just pass, see what they do. If they play another Jinx, I'm going to Vengeance it. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings for people. You should try blinking something. There we go. That worked out. So two Jinx down. Do this. They're going for leveling. Now They're going to try to level up their Draven. So, unfortunately, Withering Whale is not like clearing out a whole bunch of stuff, but killing a Draven that's about to level up seems important. It does feel like they're going towards Augmented Experimenter, and like that's their plan. Still see far and clear. The party has okay, I just had another Draven. Pass. Pass is good. Okay, they're passing two. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's wreck it! So I still have enough mana for vengeance. Got access, need victims. Time for the money makers. I really do that stuff proactively. Look out for evil. Could go pale cascade. I'm just gonna vengeance. Which I guess I shouldn't be blocking with Avaros and Sentry, but whatever. I'll draw my card. Yeah, GG's. GG's. So I didn't get to do any cool Abyss stuff yet. No. This is the, you know, the worst matchup to face, I think. But, you know, just in theory, thinking about how this should play out. But we'll see how it goes. All right, we'll keep the abyss, and we're going to look for some ramp. Okay, got got a little bit of ramp with the catalyst of aeons. Because like their big threat of of war mothers is like something they have a one time mana cost, and then they don't have to pay anymore, and then they just keep on getting threat after threat after threat, and then also you know like Trindamir. Requires two things to kill. So Trindamir is also a, a pretty big problem. So both those together, I think, are going to be problematic for us. I can see the Devastian border from here. See what Nightfall card we get. That's a good Nightfall card. Safeguard our homes. So we'll have next turn, we'll have the Howling Abyss. This is tough. Moonsilver or Traveler? I could definitely see Moonsilver. Uh, I guess I'll just take the Traveler. I don't know. I'm, I could definitely see having that Moonsilver be really important. I'm surprised still no Sweeper. I'm surprised no like Withering Whale, Avalanche, anything like that. My blade grows restless. So that probably means they don't have any of those in hand, which is good for them. They do have Trindomirs in hand, which is bad for me. That's what I kind of feel like, too. Like, we're going to have, like, all these cards that Moonsilver could really help play something else. We'll have a bunch of cards anyway. The reason why, though, like, I... 
Tryndamere is just such a problem for me that I, I feel like maybe we need something like, uh, you know, like the like Obliterate cards, and like Traveler can maybe find an Obliterate card for us. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Like that. The two cards are, you know, really worried about Trindamir and Atrocity, and it feels like that's all I have is a bunch of Trindamirs and Atrocities. So I guess we go Unspeakable Horror on the Weirding Stones. Bash alive. I mean, falling calm. I don't have good options against atrocity. Like I don't know. I don't know how I beat atrocity. Like, Ven Vengeance doesn't work against Trindamir because Trindamir just turns into the 9 9 and then I just get hit for 9. So, like, Ven Vengeance doesn't work here. Yeah, I think if they just have Atrocity, I die. So, I, I just don't think I worry about Atrocity. I mean, I, I wouldn't necessarily be able to just hold up Vengeance all the time to respond to Atrocity. So don't quite have enough to kill them, almost. <laughs> You know, just debating, do we want to play something else out before combat, or do we just want to put them down to two? Let's go with the Maokai. That's true. If they had Ruination, they probably wouldn't be playing Vengeance. They would have just Ruinationed and gotten their 9-9 Trindamir, probably. So this is the card they just drew, whatever this is. This card right here. Vile Feast. Vile Feast. Uh, yeah, I guess I can't stop that. Troll chance already. Get some saplings. Cool, taking a Nivea. We'll take that. <laughs> Sorry, I have a Rosen Sentry. We're just burning some cards. Can't stop me. I guess I could I could throw the Maokai in front of it first, but oh. Impossible. I don't really even want to play Mentor the Stones. Because if it dies, then I get all these gems in my hand that I don't. I do not want gems in my hand. I'll just fill up my hand. I'm gonna just pass. Many tribes under one banner. 
Okay. So now now we know it's not going to die. Looking into the future, so I can play I it. Purple. Alright, Nocturne. All of our other allies have Fearsome. Could play Nocturne and Anivia. Give them minus one, minus zero. Maybe we just play Anivia. I'm gonna play this Ice Pillar and get it out of my hand. That it's something I probably should have played a while ago. And I'll just play something over it, probably. So right now I can I can have like my Mentor of the Stones challenge the 5-5, five five. I can have this Sapling challenge the 8-7, and they can't block these other things. Um So that is that is me attacking for 14 right now. If I just want to go out just go and attack right like this, which I guess I guess that's the thing to do, just attack like this and attack for 14. Um do I want to do the help picks to um Oh, I guess it's, it's more than 14, because I can pump, pump that up, pump, which pumps that up, and just, you know, challenge here and here. No. Right. Got a challenge like this. Does the help picks matter? Probably not. They're all fearsome. So they can't block. All right, stayed alive. Oh, I got these crappy gems I don't want. This is, this is just a really difficult game to play. I don't know. This is a really difficult game to play. Please play something before attackers. Let's see, so they have 18, 20 damage. I have 10 blockers. So 17. So I can go to 1. Yeah, I, I basically get to go to 1. I mean, the other way around makes more sense. Oh, that thing's fearsome. That's why I can't block like that. So I have to play Catalyst of Aeons and Unspeakable Horror to go to one. Burst speed, Trindamir, attack. You know, from War Mother's Call is always the worst case scenario. GG's. What a difficult game to play. This game was really difficult. Like, instead of playing my 7-5, I need to crumble, I guess. Yeah, I should have crumbled there. Over, you know, like that big overwhelm thing, the 8-7. Should have just done that. That was tough. Alright, Shadow Isles, Hecarim. So we are going to want to ramp, have vengeance for Hecarim. I would like to see a Ruin Nation here to be able to stop harrowing. That's, you know, that's what I'm kind of scared of, is harrowing and Hecarim. You have to go, you know, being lots of hecarums.
I'm just gonna pass. I'm not gonna play the, this one one doesn't block. I know the one one can go along with crumble, but I just want to keep just keep the mana. See what else we get. Wraith deck. Maybe would it maybe had some good stuff for, for Mr. Wraiths in my opener, I don't remember. Yeah, that's good. We'll play against Burn. <laughs> I, I am struggling here against these other Shadow Isles decks. As I said that Shadow Isles is the region I did not want to play against. <sighs> don't. I don't know. What does he want from me? The shadow approaches. I guess it's better to do this and save and hold on to vengeance. Okay, Grenadier can block Fearsome. Coming in hot. But of course, this turn, blocking Fearsome and blocking the 4 3, you know, it's basically the same thing. One candle for every soul. That'll keep us alive. But they still have seven cards in hand. Yeah, they're saying it's fine. It's not good for me. I'm sure they just have like harrowings and a bunch more mistrates and hecarums and all sorts of good stuff. These old eyes still see far and clear. Down to two. Down to two. And Glimpse Beyond is so great against me. Okay, two great Glimpse Beyonds. Sleep is for the guiltless. I don't think I can just ruination. Alright, well now we probably can. Here comes Harrowing. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> that's very good against my deck. I am not good against Harrowing. Necrom Harrowing. No. Okay, good. Not Shadow Isles. Good. Back to Discard Burn. Take this one. Um, hand isn't, you know, perfect, but it's just four cards. You can't expect four cards to be perfect, but it's pretty, you know, pretty good. We're we're keeping it. Um, I have my orders. Definitely love it. You know, love having avalanche, and we got a backup avalanche as well. No one's the wiser. The chains—they 
Alright, we should just play this. Man, that's look at this a, turn two attack for eleven. Dang. Damn it. Turn two attack for eleven. Don't have to avalanche right now. We're gonna do this. I kind of want the like I want the avalanches to be dealing damage to their champions. Oh, jury rig. Oh, that was a bad attack. All right, they got me. That was a bad attack. At least they don't get to discard jury rig to something. Real bad attack. It'll work out. Smashing. Choo choo! Gotta dress up for this stream. There you go. Gotta get your tie. Get that tie badge. Thank you so much, Choo Choo. Our second sub of the day. Ah, the University of Piltover. Such a great card. Um, that's definitely a card that could beat us. You know, like, the the rest of their deck, like, there really isn't anything, like, the, the normal discard aggro that people play, not really scared of anything. But University of Piltover getting three new cards every turn. Yeah, like, they're just going to have, like, random stuff that can be good. So definitely much scarier. Nothing escapes my watch. Yeah, so we'll see if we draw our, our crumble to take down the university. See if the university will crumble. Safeguard our homes. Because like they're they're normal things, you know, like your jinx. Like we're just gonna have removal for like they're normal things. For the Not gonna matter that much. All right, avalanche. It's hard to run them out of cards when they get four cards a turn. But we could we could do it. Okay, nice file feast. Yeah, I think that we're still probably favored, but they would have had like a oh no, we are not necessarily favored anymore. <laughs> they would have had like no sh chance before, but now they definitely have a chance. They're going with with my route. I have double landmark. But of course, I still have Trundle, so it's all good. So yeah, it goes left to right, so University of Piltover happens first, and now they get level 2 champion. That was a poor draw for me. Oh, this thing came out afterwards. That thing doesn't have the vulnerable, so they can block over here. That's fine. 
They can block my Avaros and Sentry. I'll draw a card. I don't really have anything I want to play this turn. Yeah, so the, the landmarks just happen from left to right. Uh, the round start abilities. Fight the signal fires. The sun is shining. We should too. It's gonna like eat a vengeance every turn. Too much reason not to play the Weirding Stones. Yeah, they do have infinite value. Five cards every turn. Alright, now I get Nothing the Howling Abyss. Alright, leveled up Quinn. Do I Vengeance leveled up Quinn? So it will attack and it'll have Valor challenging the strongest enemy. No, I don't think we need to Vengeance that. I think we can play our own Howling Abyss now. I can do this. I can't kill Boom Crew. Not and ready. Oh, I can't do that. Right, I can't I can't do both of those. I'm gonna just do this. Scouting ahead. Put down to nine. It's our time to shine, Valor. I hope this works. This is a, this is the most landmarks I've ever seen in play. I don't think I've ever seen three landmarks in play. Ooh, we got a Teemo. The most powerful champion. Don't get to play my other Howling Abyss. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people. Prepare for anything. So this will level up their Jinx. So they'll get to draw an additional card. They'll draw three from University. They'll get a, a Howling Abyss one. They'll draw an additional card here. And now they draw their card for turn. Now it's a party. Our sun will not set today. All right, sorry, Timo. You did great. Going avalanche, but I guess we're doing this. Oh, you're all so cute. <laughs> all right, that's not the best one. Screaming helps, not at all. Yeah, they've had a definitely they've had a good howling of this for sure. Okay, maybe that one is the best one. You got a problem? I don't think I don't think I can even make that block. I don't think I can risk them just having a two damage source. Yeah, they get excited and killing my trundle. They get so many cards. Okay. 
Hopefully we get something cheap. It's not necessarily cheap. Back at the table. Yeah, now we're playing Twisted Fate Swain. So Swain will just give me blue card. It's probably better to go Withering Whale. I guess I can Withering Whale the next turn. I want to get to red card. Hmm. Guess we'll just get blue card. So Draw a new card. Kill this Jinx that's killing me. With the, you know, like that was a Jinx's get excited, for example. Excuse me. All right, so we're not beholding an eight plus cost card. I'll knock them dead. Um, hopefully they can't use the five one and team up and kill Trundle. I guess if they block with the, the five one, oh, they got a vengeance. I've never gotten a vengeance off the university. Oh, vengeance is the best card. What does he want from me? Lee Sin. This is why University is awesome, because like normal discard burn would have had no chance whatsoever in this game. But they have had quite a chance. Because of the their university. First one's free. Nothing escapes my watch. Ready the torches! So I don't think the Howling Abyss counts as a spell for Lee Sin. Oh man. That puts me down to one. They just keep on creating suit ups. No refunds. These suit ups are awesome. I can't I cannot crumble. I don't have an ally out here. I can't crumble the university. Um the few for the men. Get a spell to go along with Lee Sin. Catalyst of Aeons, that's not bad. Master yourself. Master your enemy. So if they try to get excited me, we have Catalyst. And then Challenge. Yeah, I'm not I'm not killing these things that crumble. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's another blocker. That's a great blocker too. For Swain. And their university has been fantastic. The cars they've been getting. I'm not sure if I need to just go Catalyst right now. Catalyst challenge. Can I play like Jinx? Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Yeah, you know, like Jinx, Avaros, and Sentry. And hope they don't kill me and have Catalyst for next turn. I guess I it's gonna be Catalyst challenge. Witness, enter your spirit. Maybe you need a closer look. I want to get that Jinx in play. I have my orders. Come on, they're still playing more things? Man, their university has been incredible. Had you last turn by? <laughs> you would have won the game for us. You lack discipline. I will not hold back. Down to two. 
I would have gone Jinx Sentry last turn, then I could have gone Catalyst. You know, I would have had more blockers here and would have been able to have a Catalyst and would have had more life. Let's be down to one. Well, just gotta hope they don't have burn. Gotta hope they don't have burn. Their Vi will kill them. Of course I'm ready. Ooh. Gonna play that first. Alright, no burn, no burn. No burn. <laughs> mm. We didn't draw, you know, Withering Will or you know any of our We didn't draw any life gain cards. Would've been nice, you know, like Withering Will, Catalyst, Grasp. Um. That puts them down to two. I'm not dead, but I got Katarina. If they could have killed me, I assume they would have just killed me. Never. <laughs> it's just all level 2 champions. Everywhere. This is the craziest game. GG's. Dang. That was tough. That university... If you're ever doubting that University of Piltover, I know some people doubt that card. Warden's Prey doesn't seem like it matters against Lisa and Diana, and honestly, maybe not Avaros and Sentry either. Avaros and Sentry does block against Mountain Goat for me, so I think we'll keep it. Because they go turn two Mountain Goat with the attack token. That could be kind of annoying. These old eyes still see far and clear. In Avarosa's name. Alright, this whole battle piece will be able to break up a barrier. Looking into the future, I see purple. Purple. Avalanche. Master yourself. Master your enemy. Hmm. So this is going to be five, six. Considering just playing Trundle and then just blocking their five, six lease in with my Trundle. I don't really like killing the Mentor of the Stones and just giving them all the gems and the gems just using that with lease in. Yeah, Pill Cascade would hurt. But if they don't have Pill Cascade, it'd be pretty good for me. Alright, Zenith Blade hurts even more. Center your spin. Grass file fees probably isn't gonna work, is it? Hmm. Yeah, this just didn't work out for me at all. Like that with that that Zenith Blade playing the Trundle on turn four. I need to play Avalanche. I need to actually kill the Mentor of the Stones and do like the traditional thing. Still, I don't know if that would have 
would help too much. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I will not hold back. I'll see this through. Looking for vengeance and ruination. That could have been what I should have done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look out for Reavers. That gives them ten cards in hand. Could have been maybe what I should have done. Of conflict is all in the mind. Mulligan a lot more. Just mulligan my Avaros and Sentry, mulligan my Trundle. Maybe even maybe even the Weirding Sons. Maybe I should just mulligan a lot more looking for vengeance. I know they have Bastion, but I have all those two mana cards that can try to break that up. Okay, we got Ruination, that's good. Played five spells. Thank you, Kitty Dexterity. Thank you for the bits. Thanks for the cheers. Conflict is all in the mind. Did you just play deep meditation? Oh, no, okay. Bad for the teeth, though. So if the, uh, the Mento Stone's dying, they only get two gems right now, and now they have ten cards in hand, so they won't be able to draw a card. So I need a card to stop Bastion. Dusk approaches. Ah, uh, they're just gonna go for lethal attack. Cause I can't I can't let them challenge anything with Lee Sin, right? So I can't even play anything. Because challenge with overwhelm kills me. So there's the 16. So we're gonna grasp Diana, and then you know, they could have like Bastion. Or a deny. Okay, so that's a deny that's not gonna be for the ruination. So that's good. Come on, Vile Feast. Uh, Catalyst. We'll just gotta hope this works. No no bastions or denies. Awesome. That's a good sign. Now we gotta hope for no more Lee Sins. Meaningless without skill. That's not good. I'll just pass again. No, yeah, definitely, definitely does not make sense to play anything. So now we need, we need to draw vengeance. So come on, vengeance. Vengeance. There's the unspeakable horror. I will not hold back. Conflict is all in the mind. GG's. This seems pretty good. I need to mulligan a lot more. I needed to, um, you know, I just, I guess I needed to just go avalanche and go that kind of route. But the thing is, is like, if I would have gone avalanche on turn four, we wouldn't have been dealing any damage to the Lee Sin because they would have just got the gems and rehealed the Lee Sin. But then I guess wouldn't have continued to grow the Lee Sin with having the Mentor of the Stones. There. I went for the route of so basically my plan that I went for was have the trundle block the Lee Sin via 5-6. My trundle blocks 
does four damage to it. They don't have any gems to reheal, so it's down to two health. And then even if they had a guiding touch, then we'd have Grass of the Undying, we'd have Vile Feast, and you know, it'd be down at two health. That was my plan, and you know, and then we'd also have like the Trundle that would be alive and pressuring them. But that didn't work, so um, we did we did beat the the burn decks twice. I think that's really where we're going to shine. I think our deck is going to be very very good against aggro. Our second win, of course, was got got really really close with them having the University of Piltover, and um, and you know that game getting really close because of that. But I think that just against aggro in general, we're going to be awesome. Um, the Shadow, Shadow Isles decks, I think, are going to be a, a struggle. Um, but they, they can be close. Like, our, our first one that we lost was really, really close. And I think that I could have won that game. I, you know, I played it pretty slow and, and uh, everything. So we had just 10 cards every single turn for turn after turn. And it was a really difficult game to play. And we ended up losing. And so, therefore, I'm sure I didn't, didn't make all the correct decisions. Because I think that we had the tools to win that first game. So you know, if I if I fig if I would have figured out how to win that game, we win that game. We're you know we're at three and two, and that looks looks better. But yeah, so yeah, I think this is a, a good answer to all the, the Bilgewater and uh, Noxus decks around, a good way to build a Howling Abyss. But, you know, a deck that's really just focused focused on Howling Abyss and everything. I like it quite a bit. Uh, I don't think that Lee Sin's necessarily that big of a problem, usually. I think that, you know, we had zero vengeance. They had two Lee Sin's and we had zero vengeance. And I think that's a, a big difference, you know, right? Like, the, this is our card that's going to be really necessary for to keep Lee Sin in check. It does get denied, but, you know, Bastion, we can, we can usually work around that too. Um, but, you know, it just wasn't, you know, they, they just did a great job of drawing Lee Sin and I did a, a bad job of drawing vengeance. All right, but there we go. That's Abyss Control. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.